Once you've chosen your applique shape, you're going to get a piece of paper and you're going to carefully trace all the way around your shape so you don't cut up my laminates. The neater that you do this section, the easier it is when you actually start to cut it out and pin onto your fabric. So once you've got your shape, you're then going to cut round using paper scissors. Now the reason we use paper scissors is because if you use the fabric scissors, it will actually blunt the blade of the fabric scissors. So we use paper scissors for paper. Try and be as careful as you can going around the shape. The more accurate your cutting is, like I said, the easier it's going to be to actually sew this onto your fabric. All the way around. And then you get rid of your scrap paper. So you should just have your shape that you wish to applique. Then you are going to pin it on to your fabric. Now you're always going to have a thinner bit of fabric as the shape itself and the thicker bit of fabric as the background. If you use the thinner fabric as your background fabric, it will actually get caught in the machine and possibly break the machine. So you're going to pin your shape onto your fabric and there's two ways you can do this. You can place the pin into the paper and the fabric and then use your finger to carefully push it back through the other way. So it's one in and one out through the other way. We don't want to see any pins pointing and coming out the other end. It's got to be secure. So you must use your hand to actually pin it right round through the other way. Another way to do this is lay it flat onto your table and you can pinch and then just push the needle or the pin, sorry, through. So you've pinned securely. Once you've done that stage, you're then going to get your fabric scissors and you are going to carefully start to cut around your shape. Once you've started cutting and you feel like your pins aren't actually securing your paper or your shape, stop and actually add some more pins because the more secure the paper, the easier it is to cut an accurate shape using your scissors. And then carry on cutting your shape. Now, some of the fabric scissors are quite hard to cut with. They are sharpened, but sometimes you have to find the part of the scissors that are the sharpest. Okay, so if you start in the corner, like you can see sometimes it's quite hard to cut with, so you've got to find the part of the scissor that is the sharpest. If the scissors that you grab are not good enough, they're not working for the fabric that you are using, just try and get another pair of fabric scissors and have another go. Worst comes to worst, you can use paper scissors on fabric, especially if you've got little hands, it might be more easier to control which is fine as long as you're not using the paper, your fabric scissors, sorry, on the paper, because then you'll blunt them. So you cut all the way around your shape. Once you've cut around that shape, we no longer need the paper template, so you can take the pins off, making sure the pins go back into a pin pot so we don't lose them. We can get rid of the paper, and we now have our shape cut from fabric. We now place the fabric into the middle of our background, when you're doing a sample, you don't want to be placing it around the edge. It's much harder to sew. So actually use the fabric that you've been given. And then the same pinning techniques as before. So you push the pin in one way. Use your finger at the back there to carefully push it so it goes through in one end through the other end. Same thing again. Now you want to make sure that your pins are in the center of your shape and not round the edges. If you were to pin right on the edge of your shape here that could potentially when you start to sew it on the sewing machine uh, get caught in the machine and actually break the needle so you really need to make sure that these pins are in the center of your shape once you've pinned it securely in the middle of your shape you're then ready to sew